As the captains took the field for the opening coin toss, the Hall prepared to push their running streak to five in a row. The Chargers got on the board as Billy Ross took this pitch from Rob Embro and hit the outside for a 59-yard touchdown. After stopping Perkins on their opening drive, the Hall looked to the speedster Billy Ross once again and he caught the swing pass from Rob Embro again, this time for a 70-yard touchdown. Heritage Hall limited Perkins to only 99 rushing yards in this game, but Perkins took this one for a big game. Unfortunately for the Demons, it was called back and this sucked the momentum out of the Perkins crowd. On a mishandled snap from Heritage, Perkins defensive end Alden Allen sacked Embro for a loss. Philip Smitherman took this screen pass for a 45-yard gain and set the Chargers up in A1 field position. Rob Embro lofts up this fade for Connor Carey and Carey continued his touchdown streak and has now scored in all six games thus far this season. Perkins quarterback Austin Mages found a receiver over the middle in this drive for a 24-yard gain to move the ball in the Charger territory with not much time left in the half. Caden Williams found an open spot in the Charger D and as Mages rolled out he found him in the end zone with only six seconds to go in the half. Defensive coordinator Mark Adams huddled the team up after the halftime buzzer and got the team ready for a tough second half. The Demon Band took Pop Murray Field at halftime for another great performance. On the Heritage Hall triple options, Perkins stripped it loose and barreled into the end zone to make it a one possession game. An unranked Perkins Tryon was suddenly threatening the Chargers. Connor Carey took this handoff and bounced it outside for a second touchdown of the game. This went all the way from the Chargers' own territory. Safety Philip Smitherman knew that a stop and score here is exactly what the Hall needed, so he came down from a safety spot to get a big tackle for loss. Quarterback and defensive back Jackson Job tried to connect with Joe Washington but Perkins came away with a huge tip drill interception to liven up the Demon Faithful. Senior outside linebacker Preston Nelson was determined on the fourth down and he raced across the field to stop Austin Mages just short of the first down marker and give the ball back to Heritage. Billy Ross Jr. closed this game out with his third touchdown of the night and his ninth of the season. Colby Lewis took the handoff from freshman Will Pake to officially end the game after pushing forward for a first down. With the final score of 35-12, Heritage Hall moved to 5-1 in the season and will look forward to the homecoming game versus a struggling Bridge Creek.